This video is going to cover the Album DS interface. Here I have the Album DS dashboard already up and running on my system, and I've already got a project open. Album DS consists of several tabs which contain assets that you're either going to use or have used in your particular projects. There's also some pull down menus that have options for working with things in Album DS. Let's go through them one by one. The Pictures tab here is where you'll find all your photos that you've imported into your project. One of the ways that it might be easier for you in looking at pictures would be to bring up our mouse over preview. I'm going to show you how to do that now. All you do is put your cursor over any of the images in this area and right click. From the pop-up menu, choose mouse over preview. Then what you can do is you can go ahead and dock to your Album DS dashboard by right clicking and choosing dock. I'm going to go ahead and make this a little bit more narrow here and scoot that on over. And now they're docked together. Anytime I move over an image, it will update. And now I can see a larger preview version. I can always move this and resize it or even drag it to a second display window if I have a dual monitor set up. The Sheets tab is where the pages you've designed will show up. Since this is a new project without any saved sheets, there's nothing there. Templates are where you'll find templates that you're considering using for a particular project. You can enable options in Album DS whenever you see a window like this by clicking on a particular category and then choosing Show or Load depending on which dialog it is. To open a template, all you would do is give a quick double click and Album DS will open that template at the size you have set up in the Album DS Preferences window for your project, the Edit. Once your template is open, it's real easy to get images in. You just give a double click, select where you want the image to go, and you're off and running. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how that works just by clicking on the Move tool. You want to make sure that Auto Select and Show Transform Controls are both selected. Click where you want the image to go, go to your pictures, and then double click any image that you wish to go into your project. Album DS will automatically place that image, pinning the shortest side so everything fits nice. Continuing on, all you do is click the next place where you want an image, and then double click that image. When done with a particular page, all you need to do is save that sheet. I'm going to pull down to the sheet menu and choose save sheet. It automatically saves it within your project in the proper place. Just remember to rename the sheet in order for what you're designing. Now you'll see that Album DS has saved that sheet and you can now see the sheet here. You'll also see that the pictures that have been used have been highlighted and also the template that has been used has also been highlighted. Other things Album DS tracks are things like masks which are all of your transitions, your edge effects, sloppy borders, they can all be found in masks. Styles are one-click easy editing of your document strokes and also even special effects for clip art objects. There's two different types. There's photo styles and layer styles. If you see 
a style with a picture, that means it's a photo style. If you see just a, an object like this, then that makes it a layer style, and that would be applied to clip art. Frames are frames that you can add to images. They tend to be solid color, and some of them have a little bit of texture. Backgrounds are another great feature of Album DS, and I'm actually going to open up another preview window by right-clicking over any of these backgrounds and choosing Mouse Over Preview. And now you can see previews of some of our backgrounds. And these are also loaded the same way, just by clicking on any category and show backgrounds. I'm going to go ahead and dock this, same way I did with the preview window over here. The next tab is the clip art tab. And we have lots of vector elements, bitmap elements, almost anything you can imagine is going to be here already included with the Album DS. And here's just a small sampling of some of the clip art that is included with the product. And you can see previews of this over at the right as you roll over any object. And last is our extras. Extras are special effects or things that make the album design project go quicker. And we give you uh, two categories, Album DS and Album Easy. But you can also add your own actions to your own tabs with Album DS so that you have one-click access to your actions. And simply adding them to Album DS's window will keep them from doing anything harmful to the nice layered document that you're designing. There's more information in another video on how to do that. Finally, all of these pull down menus have different things related to different areas of the project. For instance, anything having to do with the album as a whole is under this album menu. So whether it's creating a new album, editing the size of the album, doing a storyboard layout, web gallery, uh, sheet indexes, auto-filling albums. If it has to do with the whole album, that's where you find it. Anything having to do with a sheet, meaning one uh, panel that you're designing, will be found under Sheets. The Pictures menu has things having to do with photos or pictures. The Window menu just gives you options as far as whether you want Album DS to always stay on top or to be minimized and out of your way. And finally, the help area is where you'll find options to bring up our live help. Some people know it as balloon help. Bringing up this help for Album DS will actually bring up the Album DS PDF manual. While this tutorial area, if you pick the correct country, will take you to the video section on our website and some video tutorials. To find out if updates are available for Album DS, simply go to the Update area. And About Album DS tells you what version you're running. And that's the basics of the interface.